Hi guys, I wanted to talk about dating 101. I thought it would be good to kind of go over some basic boundaries or principles that you can practice or put into place while you're out there in the dating world. So often I work with people who have re-entered the dating world after a divorce or a heartbreak. And you know, a lot of times it's confusion, it's misunderstanding, it's miscommunication. Um, it feels like you know people are playing a game and so there's just a lot out there that um, that goes into the dating world and how you can enter it or be in it and still honor yourself and your boundaries and who you are and um, and self-love and self-care and all of those really important things. So I just want to kind of go through what are some key components that you need to remember and think about while you're in the dating world. So the first one is don't date out of loneliness. And what I mean by that is, especially if we're just coming out of heartbreak, um, you know, heartbreak sucks and it hurts and it's painful and sometimes we don't want to feel it. And so what we do is we jump into unhealthy things. And if we go out there when we're not really in a good place to date yet, then we end up attracting people that we probably really don't want to date to begin with. So, and we're just doing it to fill a void. So my suggestion is if you've just recently been through a heartbreak, um, whether it's a divorce or just a breakup, and take some time for yourself, get to know yourself, you know, who you are going to be in your next relationship is not who you were. So make sure you take some time just to kind of get comfortable with who you are, like yourself, you know, love yourself, go out and, and get to kind of know, know yourself again before you put yourself out in the dating world. Cause then you, you put yourself out there in a um, more grounded place and you're gonna attract people that you actually want to attract in your life. And that leads to being confident, which is another key component. Um, you know, when we are confident, when we're grounded, when we know who we are, then we bring that to, um, to the table when we're out there in the dating world. Okay, so you need to be yourself. If you go into it, you know, wearing a mask, then you're not going into it in an honest way and that's no way to start, you know, a dating relationship at all. The thing is, is that when you go on dates, you're not going to get married. You're going to learn who the person is that you're dating with and to really see if you want to be with him or her. You know, um, and I think that's the other thing that often happens is we go into it thinking, ah, oh, I gotta be in this next relationship or, you know, especially if you've been in a long-term relationship that, had, that has ended, you wanna go from being in that intimate relationship to jumping into another intimate relationship. And it, it doesn't work that way. You need time to get to know each other and really to develop a bond of friendship Dr. John Gottman, he talks a lot about the one of the key foundations of a relationship is your intimate friendship. So you can't just, you know, go out on one date with a person and know everything. It takes time to get to know that person. And in this day and age, we are kind of impulsive. And so, and that's what I find with the dating apps. It's like, okay, well, I'm going to go out on a date with you, but I'm also going to talk to these five other people. So if I'm not, you know, fireworks in this date, then I'm just gonna go talk to somebody else. And, you know, I think it's having that understanding that when you get to know somebody, you've gotta get to know them and take time to get to know them. And if you don't know yourself first, then, you know, it's, you're, you're gonna create a lot of confusion. And if you start talking to one person and there's an attraction there and there's interest there, but you're also talking to five other people, it makes it harder to really give your time to the one person that you want to maybe develop a relationship with. You know, um, both, both you and the person you're dating, at, at some point you decide if you're gonna be in a monogamous relationship or not. And what I'm saying is when you're out there in the dating world, 
know what you're looking for, know what your boundaries are, um, try not to be impulsive. You know, I get that we all want to be in a relationship because we thrive in a secure, loving attachment. But if we're here and here and here and here, how do we develop a strong, secure attachment with a potential long-term partner? So, you know, what are your boundaries? What's okay and what isn't okay when you're going out on dates with people? You know, what are you looking for? You know, and again, to me, it goes back to who you are in, um, in the present, not holding on to pieces of who you used to be in the past, but get to know yourself first. Don't compromise who you are. And, and that goes back to just being you and loving yourself and being happy with who you are and, you know, being grounded. Don't compromise who you are because you think that um, this potential partner wants something different. If the potential partner wants something different, then he's not or she's not for you. And when you know who you are, when um, you're good with who you are and you're confident with who you are, then it's okay. Not everything works out with people. If you go on a date and it just doesn't work out for one reason or another, and maybe you felt like there was a connection, um, but the other person didn't feel a connection, try not to take that personal. I know it's hard, but the reality is, is that's not about you. It's about whatever's going on in that person's life or what they're looking for. And you don't wanna be in a relationship where someone is looking for something else you know, you want to be in a relationship where you feel good and you feel that secure attachment and, you know, and they're on the same page. So I think that's really important. When you first go out on a date, especially after you are, um, you know, putting yourself out there first, know that it's okay to be vulnerable and you might be really anxious or afraid. Go and do it anyways. You know, part of what helps us heal is you know, once we've taken some time and gotten to know ourselves, putting ourselves back out there is really important. Uh, Dr. Gottman, he, you know, he talks about the difference between trust and loneliness, and it's important to learn how to trust, you know, and learn how to be vulnerable again, because the reality is it's worth the risk. And um, if we keep ourselves closed off, then we're not making connections and we're really not thriving. So remember, it's okay to be anxious or afraid about putting yourself out there and going into the dating world again, but don't let it paralyze you. I've said this in many videos before. Don't let fear paralyze you, just learn from it. And you know, if, if you're putting yourself out there in the dating world and you've gotten a few dates, you know, and that fear is popping up, just say like, what have I learned about trust and how I trust myself? What have I learned about myself that I know that I bring to the table? Uh, I am worthy, I am enough, and I'm a value, self-love right there. And, you know, and just to say, I know that I'm in a place where I'm grounded and I'm strong and I'm looking for a partner to share a life with and what are the things that I'm looking for. And, you know, so let fear be a reminder of those things that maybe you want to go through before you go out on a date, but don't let it paralyze you. Take this video and really go through the steps. You know, be confident. Don't compromise who you are and don't date out of loneliness just to fill a void. Get to know yourself again. Honor who you are. Participate in self-love. Know and understand what your boundaries are and how you communicate them on those you know, first dates and really in your next relationship. Uh, it's good to be vulnerable. It's, you know, good to know what you've learned from your past relationships and who you are in the present and what you bring to the table. So those and being confident. So those are all the things that I think are key components when you're starting to enter into the dating world again. So have fun dating and have fun being out there in the dating world. And please subscribe to my channel so you can get weekly updates all about relationships and comment below and let me know what are some things that you've learned along the way in the dating world. Take care.